I'm Andrew Edwards, and you're watching Gear Live, and Apple is finally admitting that their keyboards are pretty terrible. Big shout out to Zenny for sponsoring this video. If you're one of the folks affected by the fairly poor design of Apple's recent notebook keyboards on the MacBook and MacBook Pro, then you'll be happy to hear that the company has finally put a program in place to get you back up and running. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of gearlive.com. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about tech, gadgets, and gaming. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below along with the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. That's right, Apple does have a new plan in place to help you out with your MacBook Pro if your keys are getting stuck, if one key is getting stuck, if the keyboard's all messed up, it's a four-year plan. Now, before we get started with those details, let me tell you about a product that I can't live without when I'm using my MacBook Pro or my iMac Pro or really any computer that's gonna admit blue light at my face. And those are my blue blockers from Zenny. Zenny blue blockers block the harmful blue light without adding any yellow hue. They protect you from eye strain and reduce you from the risk of permanent eye damage. Now, obviously avoiding eye damage is pretty cool, but you also wanna look cool doing it. You don't want these crazy yellow lenses. You want lenses that look good. These frames are by Zenny as well. They do the lenses, they do the frames, they do prescription. If you have a prescription, as you can see, these are the ones I wear. We've got the orange on the side, we've got the black in the front. Then he's got a bunch of different styles to choose from, letting you fit in or stand out however you choose to do it, all at an affordable price while maintaining the use of high quality materials. Head over to zennyoptical.com to find out more. Back to the matter at hand, Apple and their terrible keyboards. This is my MacBook Pro right here. Right here, this is me, my MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro is great. The build quality is great. I like the size, I like the thinness, the weight is great. This keyboard right here, trackpad by the way, trackpad. Huge trackpad, great trackpad. This keyboard though, sucks. I don't, I'm not even hating on a touch bar. A lot of people hate on a touch bar. I like the touch bar. I don't mind the touch bar. I use the touch bar to Apple Pay for things all the time. I like having the built-in fingerprint reader right there. What I don't like is having a keyboard that seems to fail every few months. And that's what Apple has on its hands, at least for me, and at least for a bunch of other people out there. Otherwise, they wouldn't have instituted this new program. So how does the program work? Let me read it to you directly from the company itself. Apple has determined that a small percentage of the keyboards in certain MacBook and MacBook Pro models may exhibit one or more of the following behaviors. One, letters or characters repeat unexpectedly. I've experienced that. Two, letters or characters don't appear. So when you type a character, it just doesn't come up. I've experienced that as well. Keys feel sticky or do not respond in a consistent manner. I have experienced that as well. I've had all three of those issues and in fact, Apple has taken care of them for me. The first time I experienced this was on a 2015 MacBook. So not the MacBook Pro, the MacBook. It was fairly new. The keys on the left-hand side started not responding properly. I brought it into the Apple store and they actually said, can we give you a new MacBook? Because the folks back at headquarters want us to send this one over to them so they can take a closer look at it. So fine, brand new MacBook. They took care of me. I was in and out, new computer, had my backup at home. Great. Year later, I get the MacBook Pro. Now this is a 2016 model, MacBook Pro. The same issue arises. This time it's still on the left-hand side, not the exact same area, brought it into Apple. By this time, the 2017 models had been released and Apple says, we wanna take your 2016, we wanna give you a brand new, still wrapped in the box, 2017 model. We wanna hang on to this one and see what's wrong with it. We have to send it into headquarters. So both times they took my computers erased them, wiped them, sent them to headquarters because of these keyboard issues. Now this is about three years going and Apple is finally addressing it after many, many complaints that I've seen online, on social media, on the internet, YouTube, etc. Continuing back to what Apple said about the issue. Apple or an authorized Apple service provider will service eligible MacBook and MacBook Pro keyboards free of charge, free. The type of service will be determined after the keyboard is examined and may involve the replacement of one or more keys or the whole keyboard. Now they say this is free of charge. So if you've had Apple fix a keyboard issue on one of these computers, and I will name them in a second, you are eligible for a full refund. So if this is you, contact Apple and they will send you a refund in full. The eligible models are early 2015 through 2017 MacBooks. So that's 2015, 2016, and 2017 12 inch Retina MacBooks. 
Then there's a the MacBook Pro, starting with the 13 inch model in 2016, both the two and four Thunderbolt 3 port models. So that's 2016 and 2017. Same for the MacBook Pro, 15 inch 2016 or 2017. So from 2015 to now for the MacBooks, and from 2016 to now for the MacBook Pro. Those are the computers that have that new butterfly switch mechanism in the keyboard, which just isn't really working out all that well. Now, here's my thoughts on this. It's cool Apple is fixing these. It's cool they're retroactively reimbursing you. If you contact them, I feel like they should just contact you, but that's neither here nor there. If you contact them, I paid you to fix this. It's something that's free of charge now. Please give me the refund, great. If you have an issue come up, you buy a MacBook today, they have the problem tomorrow, they'll fix it for you, great. The problem is though, they're not fixing it with a better keyboard. They're just repairing it back to the state of being the sucky keyboard that's prone to failure that it is. And that's the issue I'm having with this. So in other words, if you have a keyboard and it gets messed up, you bring it into Apple, they get it working again, there's no telling that it won't just start acting up again two weeks later because of the flaws that are in the current MacBook and MacBook Pro keyboards. If you have a MacBook Air, by the way, that doesn't apply, they never got updated with the new butterfly switches. They have the older keys, which are nice and rock solid and don't seem to break and are not susceptible to not working, even if a piece of dust, and this is true, even if a piece of dust gets into the key, it could stop working. Like that's, you don't even have to eat a sandwich or anything or cookies over your keyboard with crumbs falling out. Even if just dust somehow flies in to your keyboard, it can be rendered useless. That's ridiculous. That is terrible design. You guys know I use Apple products all the time. I have, a, like I said, MacBook Pro. There's an iPad right here in front of me that I'm using to monitor the video. I've got an iPhone in my pocket. I've got an, another iPhone on the table over here. I've got an iMac Pro. I mean, obviously, I've got a lot of Apple stuff. I buy them because I like what their products allow me to do here for work and in my personal life. But if something is messed up like this to this level, I need to call it out. So anyway, let me know what you guys think, though. Have you had the same issue with the butterfly keyboards on a MacBook or a MacBook Pro in the last couple of years? Let me know down in the comments below. I will meet you there for further discussion. If you enjoyed this one, please do drop a like on this video. And don't forget, you can click or tap on my face when it appears right at the bottom of the screen in order to subscribe for free to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching, as always, guys. I appreciate your support. Go get your keyboards fixed from Apple if they're acting up, and I will catch you in the next video.